Howdy folks, a ton of you have asked many questions about the upcoming Chevy Silverado EV. And not only do we have those answers, we're gonna be reading some of your questions and directly answering them. And then after that, we've got something special, right Andre? Yes, this is an episode of You Said What? Said What? Because uh, these are your comments and questions. We're mm-hmm. gonna read them directly from our podcast, uh-huh. our other TFL truck channel, and also um, share some more accessories and news that have to do with the work truck version of the new electric Silverado. And also an off-road little piece of news. That's right. So if you're waiting for information about the affordable version of the Silverado EV, you're at the right place. Yes. So let's go, Nathan, to our TFL Talk channel page. And this is our podcast, TFL Mm -hmm. Talk on YouTube, and also everywhere podcasts are are distributed. Yep. Um, Here's a first uh, response and comment from Goom Goom. Okay, go for it. (laughs) Goom Goom says, as always, Nathan and Andre deliver an excellent review. Thank you. This is a a top-rated comment. It is a top-rated comment. Thank you, guys. Really, we do appreciate it. That was a little bit of self-promotion. I did not write this. (laughs) Of course you didn't. (laughs) Yeah, so let's continue. All right. Jordan Johnson says, so excited for this. The the EV truck market is getting exciting. This is very reminiscent of the Avalanche. I immediately thought of that the second I saw it. And this is a very common comment. It is indeed. but the funny part is, is that they do not want to really talk about the avalanche when Andre was at the event. They're basically like, no, it's not really an avalanche. And it is. It's an electric avalanche. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it has a folding mid-gate, which apparently is an option. We'll get to that at the end of this video. I, it freaked me out when I saw it. Exactly. So here's the next comment from TFL Talk channel from Canyon Gillespie. That RST is one of the best looking trucks I've seen. Great job, GMC. I think he meant GM. He maybe? meant GM, I'm okay. sure. He just accent. Yeah, it just, but hey, it shares its platform with the GMC Hummer EV. Right. It's narrower and longer than the GMC Hummer, but they are brothers, so to speak, perhaps the, sisters. The, the Ultium platform. Right, they, exactly. They both use the same, very similar chassis, just like you said, elongated or made narrower. Right. And what's interesting is that the base model is going to have a similar range to this fully loaded one that you guys have been looking at. Here's another one from Spencer S. Young. He, he says, I like how they did the mid-gate once you add the ton- tunnel cover. It makes so much sense. Absolutely. Yeah, and I'm curious real quick. Did they show any tunnel covers like the old ones? It had a three-piece removable t- uh, tunnel cover on the original Avalanche. Yes, uh, there is a clip of this. Uh-huh. There's a clip of this, and we'll share some more images. So they have a soft roll-up uh, that they're showing, uh-huh. and also a three-piece that folds out. Ah, okay. Yes. So the three-piece is similar in, in idea to the original one. The original one, I believe, they were individual panels that you could pull out. So that's cool. By the way, I just uh, I saw this during lunch yes. uh, when we were out. Uh, H2, Hummer H2 SUT, the original yeah. uh, truck, Hummer truck, also had a mid-gate. They're, they're identical yes. in that respect, and they had a lot of components that, that were uh, crossed over. But a and very the, short, short bed. Very, very short bed. And then there was also the Cadillac. I think it was called the EXT or something like that. And that had the mid-gate as well. Not the hottest seller amongst the three of them. So now let's go to the TFL Truck channel Yes, here on YouTube to read your comments. And also, thank you for writing your comments on tfltruck.com. We do appreciate uh, it. Yeah, we'll see some of those as well. Yeah. Um, so Barella Family Adventure says 20,000 pounds of towing and 1,300 pounds of payload. This does not add up. Boom, theory, on the nose. On the nose right there, dude. Yes, in theory, the truck is limited by the payload. Thank you. We keep saying that all the time. Yeah, it doesn't make a lot of sense, and they haven't clarified exactly what that means. Now, my guess, my guess is they'll be able to bump or pull something that weighs up to 20,000 pounds a few feet, kind of like what Toyota did with the space shuttle, I guess. But we don't know for sure. Um, but here, here's another thing. The 20,000-pound version of this truck, yeah. they said was going to be based on the work truck version, mm-hmm. which only has 1,200 pounds of Which payload, is even right? less than yeah. the fully loaded one, which doesn't make any sense at all. It makes no sense. Right. But uh, they said there's going to be a special version for this maximum towing weight. So maybe they'll rejigger something, maybe change the wheelbase. I don't know. Or call it a heavy duty and put suspension on it. That's different. So we'll have to wait and see. They haven't we announced a yeah. lot about this. Uh, here's another comment from adventure rocks great presentation andre oh thank you uh thank you for sharing can't wait to see the twenty thousand pound version on the ike once again so it seems like a lot of people are interested in this heavy towing uh, well i mean if you're gonna throw a number out there like that that's a hell of a thing to back up so chevrolet needs to up their game in order to make this really happen 
Here's a comment from uh, from Ace Acosta. He says, I'm so confused. So what's the point of this being so expensive when it's supposed to be an alternative to a gas-powered version of itself? Also, 100 grand, I definitely would pick a Hummer over this. Ah, okay. So a couple things. First of all, the one that you saw was the fully loaded RS which is essentially the very top of the line. I'm not defending them, believe me. I think the price is ridiculous. However, what we're talking about as well, at the end of this video, you'll see a lot more of it, is the work truck, which comes in at a much more reasonable price. In fact, it's matching the Ford Lightning, essentially, in terms of pricing for the base model. So you saw the very top of the line model, and hopefully there'll be a lot less expensive ones coming out in the near future. Exactly, but I still agree with... Um uh, Acosta here uh, from with Ace because if you have a hundred twelve thousand dollar Hummer mm -hmm. EV truck and a hundred five thousand dollar Chevy fully option truck, there's not much price difference between them in theory, and I think they might compete against each other. But does the mid gate go down in the Hummer? No, it oh, does not. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. So <laughs> if you want that mid gate and extra utility and up to eleven feet of cargo capacity just in length, uh, yeah, then obviously the Chevrolet makes a lot more sense. So here's a couple of questions um, th uh, that have to do with style. Mm -hmm. And this was a big controversy with you guys. Uh, first from Canyon, um, once again, the Chevy is the best looking EV truck I've seen. Great job, GMC, or GM in this case. Um, there's a comment from Vernon Rocks Photography who says, great presentation. And for sure, the truck is a looker. Love it. But also there are a couple of comments that really don't like the styling. I th it's called polarizing. So yes. you really are kind of on one side or the other. I don't know ma many people who are like, no, eh, it's okay. I kind of like it or whatever. I, people are like, really like it or really don't. And you know, it's interesting. When you guys start seeing images of the work truck, that's the one that I think looks good. I'm not too keen on the one that Andre got to walk around. So, and once again, so let's move on to the news. Like yes. you mentioned, the work truck. Fin the final comment here is from Tom. These prices are absolutely out of control. The yes. world has officially gone crazy. Yes. Uh, well... Except for the starting price of this truck, which is in control. Yes. But everything else, I would agree, uh, these prices are getting huge. Yeah, and I really hope the dealers try to hold back from completely marking up and destroying the pricing, but we'll see. So here, let's go to tfltruck.com. This is our story that we also published uh, that you guys also commented on. So let's look at some of these images and look at your comments that you have here. First of all, let's look at this profile shot of the new work truck. I think it looks awesome. It looks like a proper avalanche, doesn't it? it, it well, it does look like an avalanche, but it also looks like a proper working truck. Yes. I, I like the fact that it actually has black components hanging around it so you can get them scuffed up and easily replaced or fixed or whatnot. Also, and Andre pointed this out, look at the center cap. First of all, eight lug. Now, that's also how it is on the top of the line one. The eight lug is usually a heavy duty truck hub. And then if you look at the center cap, that looks a lot like, what year was yours? A 2000, 2002. 2002. <laughs> They're going he had back. A, yeah, he had yeah. a 2002 heavy duty, and the center hub looks just like it, the cap. So that's kind of cool. And I love the steel wheels. Love them. Yeah, these are 18s. A lot of you commented that 24-inch wheels are ridiculous. Just, uh, uh, obnoxious. Yeah, and, much more logical. Yeah, and I think this is what Chevrolet needs to focus on, you know, more kind of utilitarian, work-ready trucks. They should increase their payloads. I'm going to say it right now. Yes, I agree yes. with you. Because it, they're not being competitive with Ford. Yes, uh, but I like the the, the bed rack. Yes. This is a really great idea. I'm glad they're showing it here. It's a nice rack. It can also rack. be used for overlanding, by the way. That's right. And actually, this vehicle is a much better suited vehicle for overlanding, obviously, than the one with the massive wheels. But there's more to it. Check out all the accessories. And all. We're gonna, if you look at the article, you'll get to you know, these pictures that you can look at as long as you want. In this video, we're going to have to go through them quickly. But I like that front end better than the one that's all painted up. I, I'm not so sure, dude. No, but I, 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 your I like the enough. utilitarian version of the front end on the work truck version that starts at $39,900. It doesn't feel finished. I know you can replace a lot of these parts, and that's the, the good part about it, right? Yeah. If you dent something, for example, or scratch it. Right, right. Um, I don't know. It just feels unfinished. Maybe it's the color of the gray. Maybe. And, and so, but I love the macho look of those wheels, right? Steelies are, are pretty. The whole, the whole thing I think yeah. looks pretty cool like this. So here's, let's look at some other accessories really quick before we hit the off-road news. Right. So here's another image. Um, here's another. That, it looks like a lot like an avalanche. Yeah, from this angle specifically. That flying buttress. Remember one 
Uh, we agree on this. One of our dream trucks from years ago was a heavy-duty big block Avalanche. Remember? Yep. The 8.1 liter. We, we were seriously thinking about getting one. I still think we should get one at some point in time. This is the luxified version of it. Well, except for the payload, which uh. is terrible because that one had huge payload. But there are a couple things you guys need to know about that bed and that mid-gate. It turns out, and I didn't know this until we were looking at these pictures, that that mid-gate is an option. It, uh, I don't know if it's based on trim or not, whatnot. We don't have that information yet. But if you look at that bed, that is not a mid-gate. That is a regular bed, a steel bed at that. Yes. And that does not fold down. And yes. so, yeah, and a lot of you commented on, on our World Debut video that the bed was uh, composite plastic. That's not the final bed. Nope. So, and they said that, and I said that in the video as yes, well. Yes, you did. You did say uh, it in the video. So that was just a mock-up, uh, basically, of the bed. Right. Uh, and this one, I agree with you, it does not look like this folds, but it kind of makes sense. This also doesn't have a panoramic sunroof. Nope. It doesn't have a lot of the other features that the other one has. So I think this is the value version, uh, really affordable. Or the work version. Show that uh, one shot of the tools being charged on that one van. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is There's, cool. Yeah, so, so this is a really cool idea. Now, if you take a look at this, you can see clearly, and by the way, I own some of these tools, so I know exactly what they are. <laughs> and um, the fact is you've got one, two, three, four, five things plugged in. It looks like two batteries. Are and a couple plugged. of just storage, storage. Uh, items. Yeah. yeah, and that makes total really cool. sense. It is really cool because uh, those types of tools are great at work sites, obviously. And I like the fact that they have that integrated into the bed as, I think, an option. Yeah, and here's another couple of views. This is the interior That's of the a work truck. That's screen, right? Yeah, so this is supposed to be an 11-inch, which is still big. I'm still fine it's with still that. Good. Yeah, to be honest um, with you. And also the 8-inch um, screen in this for the gauges. Oh, show that. No, show the front. They want to see that. That's oh, really yeah, this. cool. So that's a slide-out tool chest. That, in the front. Uh, in the front, which yeah. is exactly what should be there for a work truck. I like that. I'm a fishing guy. I suck at it, but I would love to put my fishing gear in there. That would be awesome. <laughs> yes. So although that, you know, payload is a, is a premium, uh -huh. the steel case may weigh something. That might be aluminum. It may be aluminum. Yeah. I hope it is. I hope so, too. So here's another just couple of shots. Here's a shot of the tunnel cover we just discussed. Is that the soft one? Uh, this is the hard version of it. Okay. They also showed a little clip of a soft one. Uh -huh. um, and then, uh, by the way, I like the pullout tray. This yeah, tray the slide out tray, I could see yeah. for certain industries would be a really good idea. In others, it wouldn't. But um, especially if you got stuck stuff like caught underneath it. And and also That's they a cool had um, shot. A, an image of it, it tra towing a transformer. Yeah, the, which looks really heavy. But look how jacked up it is off the ground in that image. Yeah, so it Interesting. looks... Interesting. It looks proper because the RST has air suspension. Right. I don't know if this version has it. But it looks like it does with yeah. that picture. And we're also not sure about four-wheel steering. So there's right. more information to come. We are, we are waiting on that. But let's get to the final thing before we close out. And that is on the kind of sort of trail bus version. Yes, this is tfloffroad.com, which mm -hmm. is our other website where we focus on off-roading. Right. And there's one sentence in their press release from Chevrolet that they said, oh, by the way, you know, there will be a trail bus version of this. I was like, what? I heard. Hmm? <laughs> and the thing is, is that we didn't think that was going to happen because they're building, obviously, the Hummer. And the Hummer... I felt was going to be the full-on off-road thing and that they would leave this alone so it could kind of stick with just being a pickup truck that doesn't do too you know, much hardcore off-roading. But it looks like they might not be doing that. By the way, this image of the blue truck is actually RST first edition with different wheels. Yeah. Uh, I think these wheels might be also huge, They're like massive. 24s. So this is, not, this is not the trail bus. I'm just saying that they announced the trail bus version is coming. It may not look like this in the final version of it, uh, but they also shared a couple more images of the uh, new truck off-road. Right, with so dirty you, wheels, uh, <laughs> or d dirty tires. You know, those, it's, we're almost at a point where we're using wagon wheels, you know, in terms of size. It's ridiculous. Well, we're back to the, uh, yeah, the <laughs> covered wagon. Yeah, Old West, well, you're hip to that. <laughs> so that, that front end looks like it has a fake uh, skid plate on it, maybe, but we don't know for sure if the Trail Boss version will have that type of setup. And hopefully we'll have tow hooks, something that Toyota still hasn't put on their full-size truck. And if you look very carefully, you can see that it still has the running boards and they're not retractable. That's well, strange. Well, yeah. Well, this is just another image of the RST, right. which is their currently kind of the top of the line truck. So that's about it. Um, other than to say that they said the fleet version of the work truck, this is the WT, uh -huh. will be available to fleet customers, so commercial customers, in right. the spring of 2023. I wonder if we're considered a commercial if we buy it as a company. I think we might be now. So anyway, uh, and, and then um, the 
RST first edition will be closer to fall of 2023. Uh -huh. So they're a little bit behind because the ribbon is already here. The Ford Lightning will be coming in a few months. Yeah, in a few months. So Chevrolet needs to, I think, hurry up a little bit. If she, uh, Chevy, at least if you can beat the Cybertruck, that'd be great. Yes. But again, they'll say, aha, but we have the GMC Hummer. It is being produced, just not in huge numbers yet. So there you have it, guys. Thank you for your comments. We're going to continue watching and responding to you guys. And thank you for listening to us on the podcast and also watching us right here. See you guys. Have a great week.